In early years, money was something that represented different types of things. It represented things like gold, things like shells, things like calories, things like salt. They were used and accepted by the people in that era and in that environment. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Faker Dummies. I teach every single thing related to each channel. So for today's video, as you must have seen in the description, I'll be talking about money. So what exactly is money? Okay, money refers to anything that is generally acceptable as a means of exchange stores value and is a unit and is a unit of account. Money has to be acceptable by the people receiving it. If it's not acceptable by the people receiving it, it's not going to be money. Now there are various functions of money. This video in this video I'm talking about the three functions of money. First of all, money is a medium of exchange. Second of all, money is a store of value. And third of all, money is a unit of account. Now, medium of exchange, what does this mean? Now this means that you can actually use money to be able to exchange goods and services to exchange products now for example if i want to get something maybe for example i want to get groceries and i would just go to the grocery store get the groceries and what do i do because i'll just give hand them over some cash or some money and then they'll give me my groceries so that an exchange has actually happened in the sense that i've gotten i've gotten groceries and they've also gotten my my money so that is exactly one of the functions of money another function of money is that money is a store of value now this that i know to see here it's a 1000 naira note if i buy 1000 naira worth of tomato and keep it for a long time this money is actually going to last longer than that 1000 naira tomato that i bought now what am i saying in essence you can use money to actually store value like for example this is a whole bunch of 1000 naira worth of value here 1000 naira worth of value here i can just keep it if i don't want to if i don't want to use it to get anything so i'm actually is a store of value it's actually a store of value but it is also subject to inflation another thing is that money is also a unit of account now what does this mean this, like let me just put it in plain terms if you're an accounting student or if you have done accounting in high school or wherever you, like your account will surely have any you must surely have a currency if it is rupee whatever whether it is naira dollars pounds whatever you must have like a numerical numeric value to it you must have a currency attached to it so what is it, what does it mean that money is a unit of account? It's a unit of account in the sense that it's like it's used in calculation, it is used for calculation, and it is also used to measure the value of, of product prices and of several things, also used in debt calculation, etc. etc. So guys, I hope this video has been helpful. Yes, useful to you guys. If it has smash the like button. Also, don't forget to uh subscribe to the channel for more videos. I post videos every week for you guys and Last one, I'll be able to comment down below. Be with your friends. I'll see you guys the next time.